I'll edit this part out. Okay, everybody, welcome to Rapid Art. My name is Paul Peterson, and today I'm going to be talking to my buddy, Mark Zimmerman. Mark is a painter uh, and printmaker. He lives here in the Black Hills. Um, he does some teaching. Um, I know mostly of his teaching through Suzy Kappa uh, in Rapid City. And um, he also seems to make these mysterious trips East River to Sioux Falls every <laughs> week. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I think we're going to get to the bottom of that maybe today. But um, hey, Mark, thanks. In my, um, yeah. my, anything? Am I what? Are you what? Is there anything um, anything I missed? Anything you'd like the uh, people to know that I might be unaware of? Um, no, other than that I kind of have a studio up here in the Black Hills where I tend to hide out quite a bit. Yeah, Mark's um, one of the artists that submitted an FCAST video this year, part of the Fall Color artist studio tour or tour studio anyway um so you know i'll put the link in the in the description page and be sure to check it out so i've interviewed mark deborah desi was part of that series of videos i'm on i'm part of the series so make sure you check it out there's some really great images of his artwork and also of his studio um, and of his beautiful little acreage up in the hills. Um, so if you uh, make it out to the hills and you want to see some paintings, I mean, it's a really great, great place to go. Um, oh, I'm assuming, are you, are you available for tours and things? We are, yeah, we are. Um, I probably should say also that my wife is an artist as well. Uh, yeah. Mary Whiff is my wife. And um, we are open happily by appointment, um, but you do have to phone or email ahead. So. Okay, and then I think Mary's also part of the FCAST. Um, she is, she was. Okay, so you can learn more about her artwork by checking out the links that will be below. Um, so, okay, part of what this whole project is about is maybe talking to artists about how, um, kind of the last six, eight months, the way things have been going is maybe altered or changed, um, you know, their practice. And so, I mean, is there anything about your studio practice that's maybe changed in the last, you know, six months with social distancing and is it better? Maybe it's better. Um, I talked to a few people who thought it was uh, you know, a nice thing. You know, um, you, you introduced me as a painter, but um, I really have been drawing uh, almost exclusively since COVID hit. Uh, I was just wrapping up a series of, uh, I think, four or five paintings. Uh, COVID kind of locked us all down, and I started drawing birds, I started, which was really unusual because I paint abstractions of landscape. Um, but I started drawing crows and ravens, uh, corvids, the corvidae family of birds. And um, I think I've drawn 85 corvids mm. since, uh, since uh, COVID hit. And, um, um, and so that's, and I just, just yesterday put four blank canvases up on my studio wall. And uh, so I'm going to, push some paint around again. Oh, great. So maybe for a while anyway, you were working on a smaller scale and maybe in a, you know, more- A little bit. Do you, yeah, I mean, some of the drawings were eight, 18 by 24. Mm -hmm. So not too small, but, but not very large either. Um, yeah, yeah it just seemed like- uh, Go ahead. Oh, yeah. It seemed like what? Oh, it, it just seemed. Um, it just seemed like I couldn't paint these landscapes all of a sudden, and um, and I wanted to do something entirely different. 
so yeah, COVID really changed my practice quite a lot. Um, it also shut down my artist in schools work. Um, I had um, a couple residencies left to do through the State Arts Council uh, Artists in Schools and Community Program. Um, and one just got canceled outright. And I ended up making up a um, residency by uh, doing videos for the Sanford Cancer Clinic in, um, in Sioux Falls. Okay, is that what you were, um, you, you know, you were doing in Sioux Falls the last few weeks? Yeah, I had another residency this fall, um, and I just was there for three weeks uh, demonstrating drawing and helping people do their own drawings uh, in a cancer radiation oncology waiting room. Um, um, you, this was through video? Um, I was there physically this fall. Um, okay. Last spring, I sent them 70 drawing videos. Videos, um, so a little fifteen to twenty-five minute video of a drawing, um, uh, and I'm doing ink transfer drawings uh, and finishing them with watercolor. Um, so start to finish, I'm doing fifteen to twenty-five minute drawings, and uh, they're kind of guided drawing lessons for the. Um, those were. What I did for Sanford is very different. Um, I did a couple guided drawing lessons for beginners um, uh, through the State Arts Council, uh, and they posted them on their YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, so then, um, so actually, things for a while anyway changed quite a bit, and maybe um, yeah. is everything are you kind of finding things are. Getting back to back a, to normal. A new normal. A new normal, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a good idea. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to pushing paint around again. Um, and um, have a which is unusual for me. I have a commission to fulfill and um, and I'm doing that by doing three draw three paintings. Um, and the person will get to pick. <laughs> That's awfully generous of you. <laughs> um, well, it is and it, it is and it isn't because I always work on three, four, five paintings at a time. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'm going to do those paintings anyway. And um, I'll just I'm just going to do them the size and um, and aspect that they want. Um, and uh, it doesn't matter to me. So. Great. So how about, I mean, when you are teaching, you've, um, you're back in the maybe face-to-face. Uh, -face. Are there any sort of accommodations or any special um, precautions that are being taken? Yeah. So uh, I had requests from schools and I turned every school down. I just was not comfortable going into a school setting at all. Um, but I took work, um, you mentioned the Susie Kappa Arts Center in Rapid City. Uh, I took some work there uh, and I took work at the Sansford uh, Cancer Clinic. Um, and there's no doubt that there are fewer people walking through the waiting rooms. There are less, people are less likely to interact with people right now. So I did maybe, I had probably half the interactions that I normally have in that mm. waiting room. Um, so it was kind of slow, but it's a place where any interaction is, is really uh, rewarding. Um, somehow cancer intensifies life and um, people really appreciate being able to work with an artist and make some art or just watch art happen or take some mm. art home. Right. Um, while I'm there, I just give, I just give drawings away while I'm there. Um, okay. And yeah, that sounds um, like it would be difficult, but. Um, yeah, maybe you know, everyone, everyone's masked up 
and you know, so everyone's wearing a mask and you stay six feet apart and you sterilize everything. And so, yeah, a little different than normal. Um, okay. Well, hey, um, can you tell us a little bit about Susie Kappa? I hadn't seen you for a while and I think that's where I ran into you, you know, a year or so ago playing. I was, I was playing yeah. guitar for one of the... Um, yeah, yeah the you, you were playing playing the heck yeah. out of a guitar. And you were, uh, yeah, you were back, you were teaching and con I mean, I think maybe conducting a class at the time and it just, uh, you know, that was one of the really sad things, like all my gigs getting canceled. And um, the yeah, Susie Kappa, that was a really nice, I mean, I really looked forward to playing um, for the, the yeah, other night. So, yeah, so, you know, normally the, the Susie Cap Arts Center is it's in downtown Rapid City, uh, and normally it's about half um, studio space for adults with disabilities and half gallery. And right now the gallery is entirely closed. They're not um, letting public the public in, and they're not uh, selling work in person. They are selling online, I know. Um, but what I do there is just go uh, work with those artists. Um, mm -hmm. And it's impressive. Um, there are 20 some artists who come in um, on different schedules, their own schedules. And, um, and they are artists, they come in and they sit down and they make art. Um, mm -hmm. It's impressive to, you know, if I would, uh, I have periods where I'm very diligent, but periods where I kind of drift away from the studio and, and don't um, practice, you know, kind of nine to five. And um, they do, they come in and they sit down and they make art. Um, yeah, it's good it's, to be around. Uh, it, it's a place that does some really amazing things for some people that don't necessarily always get uh, amazing things done for them. Um, so it's um, one of my favorite places to be. Right, and the gallery really is a, a pleasure to, to walk through. And, um, you know, it's a nice place to just, even if you're not out to buy art, or to, to shop, um, it's really just a great, great experience going in to look at all the art. Um, okay, let's see. So maybe um, this, could we go over the like F cast? Maybe you want to tell us a little bit about your video and what people could, could look for? Yeah, um, um, so F cast. Um, the Fall Colors Art Studio Tour. Um, this was the third annual Fall Colors Art Studio Tour. It's usually the like third weekend of um, October or no, third weekend of September. And um, yeah, September. And um, and it the first two years, artists just opened up their studios and invited the public in. And it was really fun, uh, an enjoyable thing to do. Um, and this year with COVID, we decided, you know, you just, no one was comfortable inviting the public to go traipsing through their studio. Right. The public probably doesn't want to go through their studio. Um, and so we did it for videos. And um, so I, I made a video of um, kind of the valley where I live the studio and gallery where I work and um, and then a lot of my work, a lot of my paintings and drawings. And you were part of the committee that organized this year's FCAST, is that right? I was, yeah. Um, and that so, was, there was maybe more work this year than, than in past years because we had to change everything. Um, right. We kind of had a model, you know, we had a model and all of a sudden the model's out the window, so. Did you have a difficulty coming up with a solution to the problem or was it fairly self-evident? To... Um, you know, I think um, we kind of... Um, 
yeah, we you know we were just going to cancel the whole thing. And, I know. A um, lot, and somebody a lot. said, um, "You went out for a couple seconds there. Could you? I'm sorry. <laughs> After the last question, can you kind of pick up? Um, we might have um, to edit this. Yeah. <laughs> so you know we. Yeah, we uh, we um, we got together with the idea that we would. I think everybody's mind was kind of settled on we're just going to cancel, and um, someone said something about maybe we should go virtual. You know, Zoom was just starting to be a thing, and um, stuff like this was just starting to be a thing, and we we're like, you know, artists could make some interesting videos. Um, and maybe we just let let them do that and and publicize those videos and go virtual, uh, and so we did. Um, yeah, it was it was cool. It's kind of remarkable that all this technology happened to be kind of ready to go at this moment in time. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, do you? I'm not sure about this question, but um, I mean, are you you're involved in the doll right now? Um, is there, can you tell us a little bit about the goods? Do you know what's going on with uh, the goods? <laughs> that you're, you know? I, I do not, I do not know. Uh, I know it's going to be virtual this year. Yeah. Um, so you don't have and, a piece um, of You know, I have, um, to date failed to be a participant in the goods uh, annually. <laughs> so, um, All right, well, yeah, anyway, that's uh, hopefully that'll be an upcoming video, uh, but the goods will be happening here pretty soon at the doll. All that info's on the website. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I think, um, hey, thanks a lot for the visit. Is there anything you'd like people to know that we maybe we missed? Anything? Um, any shows coming up? Any? No, I've I've got work at Prairie Edge and Gallery Six Thirteen in Rapid City, uh, and the Perfect Hanging Gallery too, actually. So, if you're in Rapid, it's pretty easy to to see some of my work, and um, and then and we're always open by appointment up here. So, okay, great. Um, can you? I've been having one of my um, in services taught me to wave to my students so <laughs> waving at the end of the videos um okay well hey great yeah. talk um, don't go but this is the end